Husky 5 JDA here. Um, went out on a quick, well, not so quick, but it ended up being three and a half hours. Uh, did really well today. I got $3.56 in clad, and I got a 1944 wheat cent, which is pretty crusty, and it surprised me I even got an old coin because where I've been digging is rather modern building and I also got ring number four for the year sterling 925 and I also got somebody's golf cart key so they're probably going to the golf course going where's my golf cart key anyways uh, I'll go home and I'll add a little bit more to this video and whatnot but happy hunting Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. Swissy 5 JDA, I'm back. I'm going to show you some more of the interesting coins that I have in my collection. I'm going to start off here with the pennies. The Indians, I have an 1899, a 1901, and a 1904. Of course, they're all pretty well worn get those out of the way and I have some 1909s this one is just a plane and this one is a 1909 VDB and it is in really nice condition full wheat ears and such I might send this one in to get it certified I also have a 1910 plane. Yeah, if it'll focus. Oh, well. A 1911, which is kind of chewed up. Looks like it's been in a fight with a staple. A well worn 1919. I have two 1926 planes and a 26D, all which have seen better days. And my kids accidentally threw in some of my neck, some of my wheat pennies into the coin tumbler one day. This is a 1928. A 1930, a 36 plane, yeah. there we go, a 37 plane, or a 1935 plane, which got out of order somehow. A 1944S, which I dug up in my wife's hometown of Baird. I dug this in the courthouse lawn, actually. And no, there isn't a historical marker on that courthouse, so. And I have a 1944S, which I dug up somewhere around here. I can't exactly remember, but I dug that one up. So... Now one moment, let me get to the next set of coins. Okay, and these are some of my Jefferson nickels. The earliest I got is 1940 right now, but I'm doing the coin roll hunting. I get a box or two every week, so. And yes, I do have some more nickels in here. I actually have a full set somewhere, but I haven't been able to remember where I placed them yet. So I had the all these of course the 60s are easy to find especially the 64s they minted almost three billion of them and I also have This 1958 here, which is in really 
good condition looking at the loop you can actually see five steps but whether or not they're full well I'll send it off to Annex here in a little bit and have them uh, judge it and over here I have a 1963 I can get it to focus okay. and as you can tell the three is quite a bit different from the usual I don't know if it's a mint mark or a variety but I think I'll also send that in here too Hey, right, one moment and I'll get back with the next set. Here we go with my foreign coins. This is a 1957 5 pesetas. And the curious thing about these coins is there's this little star right here. Let's see if we get that to focus. That little star right there, there's a number in there and it actually tells you the year it was minted. And it's a 1960 mint. So now here's the Cinco Centavos that I actually found yesterday. It's in 1943. And it's well worn, but it's a beautiful coin, actually. And these other Mexican coins here, I actually found on my trip to Cozumel last year. These are 50 centavos or 50 centavos. And these three here are one peso or un peso. And all these, the un pesos, the dos pesos, the cinco pesos, they all share the same reverse or obverse, whatever, whatever they call it. Here's the dos pesos and the cinco pesos and a couple of diez or ten pesos right here. Now here's some English coins that I found earlier. There are a couple of twenty pence and a couple of one pound coins. Now if you're wondering out of curiosity what the DG, Reg, and FD mean it's short for a Latin um, saying Digratia Regina Fide Defensor which translated means by the grace of God Queen Defender of the Faith and here is a Canadian quarter right here which is 100% nickel And I have a 1973 West German 50 Fennig. It was actually made in the West Berlin Mint. And I have a 2002D Euro Nickel. I know I can't spell, but beautiful coin. Okay, Travis, this one's especially for you. This is a very beautiful 1942 Fiji with a San Francisco mint mark. One shilling coin. I haven't gotten the sixpence yet, but I'm working on it. And here we go. George the Sixth, King and Emperor. And here's some... Australian sixpences. I have a 1942 and 1943, both of which are Denver mints, and a 1945 Melbourne mint. And these are just absolutely gorgeous coins. Of course, we have George the Six, and his inscription says. By the grace of God, King of all Britons, Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India. Or, as the Latins would say, Digratia, Britannia, Omni, Rex, Fide, Defensor, Imperator, Indian A. So, I'll be back here in a moment with my tokens.
Okay, and these are the five tokens that I found this year. Just your generic car wash token. And a generic arcade token. Now this Mountasia is actually a putt putt and you know video arcade game thingy up here in the town I work in. Of course no cash value. And CC's Pizza official game dough. Mm-hmm. If I ever get back there one of these days, I might give it a whirl. And I found a history channel club token. I actually found it in amongst the nickels I was looking at one day coin roll hunting. And this is the only proof that I've found coin roll hunting so far. It's 2005. Of course, it's got the S Mint mark. And it's the Coast version. And as far as other proofs I have, well, my beautiful loving wife got me this set of proofs from my birth year of 1975. And of course, being that it was 1975, they had the 76, 77, or 1776, 17, but, 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 excuse me, 1776 to 1976 halves, Ike dollars, and Washington quarters. And here's the backs. Alright, okay, well, give me a moment here and I will get on with my silver here. And here is my silver. This first one, of course, is a 2014 Silver Eagle that my wife got me for my birthday, which I celebrated about two weeks ago. Well, actually, a week and a half ago. Lovely coin. Absolutely just love this. So glad my wife got it for me. Now I have some Walking Liberty halves. I have a 1945 plane, which looks to be eh, maybe fine condition or very high grade good condition. And a 1920D, which is Probably junk silver, but I have it because it's 1920D and I wanted it in my collection. And I have another 1945, and this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Full focus. I'm going to get this sent off to Annex one of these days. Yeah, I'm thinking this will be a MS-65 at least. I mean, you can see the details, you can see the stars, the lines on a robe, all that good stuff, and look at the back. You can see just about all the eagles on the, or all the feathers on the eagle, excuse me. It's just a beautiful coin, lovely. I'm honored to have it. And this is one of my oldest coins. Actually, I believe it is my oldest coin. It's an 1898 Barber Quarter, which I got off of eBay. It's in good condition to lower end fine condition. But, beautiful coin. And here are my Washington Quarters. Yes, I had the polish bug out one day. Uh, 1964, a 1941S, and a 1940S. And I, you know, I figured these weren't leaving my collection anytime soon, so go ahead and get them all nice and shiny for my kids and here is the very first silver coin I found and actually the only silver coin I found 
1947 Roosevelt and I would estimate its top of fine to maybe extra fine and then I estimate this one to be somewhere in the mint state range but it's a 1964D which I bought off the internet really nice coin and then I have a 43 war nickel which is the first war nickel I ever got I got it off eBay and yes I polished this one up just wanted to see what they look like polished up and now these pennies here I separated for a special reason this is a 1943D. It is absolutely gorgeous. I would estimate high mint state, except for the fact that it has this ugly scratch on the back. This is a beautiful coin though. And this is the oldest coin that I've ever found. It is a 1930 plain weedy. And I actually found this at a school just down the road from me. And then I have this 1916 wheat. I can't remember why I put it in one of these flips, but I've kept it separate. And so that does it for my collection, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Please rate and subscribe.